This is Skull and Capper Rowling in Mulhuddard, West Dublin, a primary school with 700 pupils from dozens of nationalities. Principal Dahi Omoroku says the budget cutbacks will have a devastating impact on children in Desh schools like this, the most disadvantaged in the country. In our school in September, we lost three vital posts. It looks as if, on, if we're lucky, we'll lose three more. That's taking six teachers. And in Desh schools, if the minister goes forward with his proposals, he will destroy everything which is shown to work. And in our school here, all I would say is backwards towards the future. The DESH scheme, or Delivering Equality of Opportunity in Schools, began in 2005 to bring together support for schools in disadvantaged areas, including reducing class sizes, providing literacy support and home liaison services. Out of a total of over 3,000 primary schools, there are 671 that are classified as DESH schools. A three-year evaluation of DESH carried out by the Education Research Centre for the Department of Education shows these schools have been doing well under the scheme. The initial results look quite positive in that the test scores for both reading and maths have improved over the three-year period. Um, and also there seems to be a good deal of evidence that the scheme has been implemented very well by the majority of schools that they really seem to be engaged with the scheme uh, in terms of uh, their uptake of programmes and their engagement with the planning process. Last night, Minister Rory Quinn listened uncomfortably as Sinn Féin launched a stinging attack on the budget cutbacks. And what really angers me and parents throughout this country is that regardless of the spin that has attempted to justify this budget, this is a savage attack on the most vulnerable. For the Labour Party in government, this is a nightmare. They went into government less than a year ago, and now they're in a situation where they have stood over the dismantling of the support services for disadvantaged schools in primary. They've stood over the dismantling of guidance and counselling services in second-level schools, which is going to affect the poorest schools and the most disadvantaged schools, and they are going to get huge kick back from this on their own doorsteps and they're going to have to justify why are we in government if what we're doing is stripping away the supports from our own communities. The Department of Education will now prepare a report on the impact of the cutbacks to DESH schools on a case-by-case -case basis. The Minister is also under pressure over budget cutbacks to guidance counsellors in secondary schools. This government has already yielded to pressure over another budget measure, disability allowances for young people. If they have to row back again, this doesn't bode well for all the other difficult decisions ahead for the coalition. To tell me as a principal teacher in one of the largest DESH schools in the country that my country is now run by a German checkbook, that the Troika decides where is the essence of the Irish Constitution under Article 42, 242, 444, 9, which recognises the right to every child to education? I would say to the Minister, to hell with the Troika. Look at the most important resource you have in this country. Do not deprive your children, because if you do, then you're depriving the essence of that which is your future.